Eden Red Blue Green Gray Together we are the perfect blend Invincible and unconquerable Our job is to do what needs to be done We hunt death And these are our stories Chapter 2 Ace I call myself Ace Ace as ass My masquerade of Sanid fits impeccable I am a genius scientist respected respected and decorated with numerous prizes I smile at the genius of my disguise for I am also the nameless terror that has been rampant for decades the surgeon the press calls me sensationally they feast on my deeds which I myself think are unsurpassed in madness Eden and her team know my true identity and I know that Eden is looking for me Eden is one of my creations one of my works not to say my masterpiece how much I enjoyed my time with her even today the thought of her original purity excites me her indomitability and her will she was one of the few the only one who permanently withstood my experiments no matter how much I dissected her, she recovered again and again. But each time she grew stronger, more unbending. She fascinated me. She fascinated me so much that I couldn't finish my work on her. And finally, she managed to escape. In this respect, I underestimated her, an unforgivable mistake. Such a mishap on my part will not happen again. Eden planned her escape carefully and for years. And at the very moment when I thought her weakest, closer to death than to life, she left me. And she did not leave alone. She took from me a wonderful pair of twins, carefully chosen by me, objects that were to serve my pleasure. Two for one. Well, it did not come to that, to my regret. As Eden indispensably follows my trail, I watch her. She is a superb profiler, as precise and methodical as my scalpel. She and her team are battle proofed and make the perfect blend. An elite unit, invincible and unconquerable. It gives me immense pleasure to watch them on their joint hunt watching them take down my, well, let's call them competitors, even if my style and precision is unattainable, one by one, drooling with perverse excitement. I wait for the day when Eden will judge me. I hear my laughter, giggling and gurgling. It sounds insane. The maniac laughter of a madman. I feast on it, feasting on my own madness. The absence of death is life, and every hell has its heaven.
My name is Eden. Eden Blake. Blake like black and black like black mamba. I am light and shadow. Shadow and light. My team trusts me. Our job is to do what needs to be done. We hunt death. Human scum in all its disguises. Without conscience, without scruples and without mercy. Omnipresent and voracious. We are professionals, a combat proven elite unit. Our scars have long been hidden, but not forgotten. We all have special abilities. My gift is that of sight. I see into the past and I see into the future. See the connections in all worlds. See demons, find heroes, or as I call them, diamonds. And then there's Red. Red is hot. She's so hot as hot as fire and very passionate, seductive. Red is security, but Red is also always a bit of anger, hungry anger, impulsive and headstrong. Blue is cool, very cool and smart. He's damn good looking. Blue is confidence, but blue is also steel honest steel, ice cold and relentless. Green is our brain and inert. He's our backup and safe house. And then there's Grey. Grey is a loner, feisty and aloof. He's a phantom, a very rich phantom. Comes and goes like the wind a breath of air, and yet he's one of us, grays our bank, he finances our operations. Together we are the perfect blend, invincible and unconquerable. The absence of death is life, and every hell has its heaven.